Hello, my name is Eric Crooks, and I am one of the founders of Drash. And today we're going to be talking about handling multi-part bodies on the request. So if we go to the documentation pages, we'll see that there is a get body file method on the request object. And we can target a specific file that is passed in in the request and assign the value or uh, the contents of that file to a variable. So over here, we have a very basic Drash application. At the time of this recording, Drash is at v1.x. Down here, we have our files resource. We'll do the implementation in a little bit. And let's just go ahead and plug in our resource here. We will run our server and then give us some nice output. So to start with the implementation, we need to define the endpoints that clients can target to interact with this resource. And we'll just give them one endpoint, which is files. And since we're going to be passing data to this resource to parse, uh, we need a post handler. So we'll go ahead and create that. And we'll set the response body to something simple for right now. And we'll test that this thing works. So now we have hello from post. So we know that our server is working, but we want to focus on this right here. So let's go ahead and copy this so that we can set up our server to handle files. So the file name we're going to pass in, um, let's just go with animal. And if there is a file, we will set the response body to the contents of that file. And the reason why we need this text decoder decode is because file content comes in a uint8 array. So uh, we don't want to output that. We want to output what it actually um, displays. Otherwise, uh, let's say could not parse file. So to pass in a file using curl, um, we can use this line of code here. And this right here is the file name that we're going to pass in. So we're passing in animal, so we'll just name it animal. Um, we don't have a file yet. Um, we'll make that in a little bit. Let's see that our server is running. And it is. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and make our file, which is myfile.txt. And we'll say tiger. Oops. So now that we have our resource set up, we're looking for a animal file. And we're going to decode the contents of that file, assign it to the response body. And if it can't parse the file, then we'll say it could not parse file. So our server is running. We can pass this in and we see tiger. And if we pass in something else, like hello, it says could not parse file. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.